Hi there, this is Jonathan Ross, and in the following tutorials, we're going to take a look at creating templates and themes for WordPress. Now, this is a, a really rich content management system, and it can do a whole lot. So it means that the tutorials are going to be a little bit more advanced than some of the other basic um, tutorials that you might find out there. But this is really going to be helpful for you to get started on how to understand how to create these templates and themes. So for the different things that we're going to go over, we're going to go over the very very basic, super simple WordPress website um, for content management system. And once again, this is not really going to be going over WordPress as a blogging tool as much as as a content management system, which is a very, very slight difference, but an important one. Anyway, um, we're also going to be dealing with different menus. We'll be dealing with common WordPress functions. We'll be dealing with widgets and functions such as the function I'm mentioning here is the um, featured image function. Um, we'll also be working with custom fields a little bit and then custom templates. Now from custom templates we're going to be starting to have multiple files in our WordPress and so we're really going to get more into the area of what's called themes versus just a template. Then we're also going to have to look at the template hierarchy and how that's involved with themes. Finally we'll be looking at a few different options for query loops that you can do, the, the WP uh, WordPress query loops, which is pretty rich stuff, and we're only going to touch the surface there. And then finally, also um, child themes. And that's a very simple tutorial that we're going to be doing on that final one. And then we might look at a couple files such as this toolbox, which is a pretty rich theme that's out there. Anyway, uh, we do need to know some other things as well. First thing that we need to know is some basic HTML5, um, or at least HTML. If you don't know HTML5 yet, you really need to go learn it because it's got some great features in the markup that's there. And what I love about the new markup is that it's a little bit easier and it's more semantic. For example, we're going to be using the header tag and the nav tag, and that nav tag um, or nav element um, is for the navigation on our site. Then I also have a section here and then an article. And finally, we'll have our aside, which is our sidebar, and our footer. And uh, the other thing that we need to know is a little bit of basic PHP. Now, if you're not familiar with PHP, it's basically a, a post HTML processing language that allows you to do more stuff. It's executed on the server and then the results of it are sent back through your browser and you get um, the output of it. So you'll see um, every PHP tag starts with the beginning part of the script and then ends with this. An example of it is down here where it says PHP echo hello world. And if you were to run this example, all that happens is it outputs hello world. So you'll see a lot of these um, are used in WordPress. There's a lot of PHP tags. Um, and that's because it is a PHP-based content management system. Now, the next thing we're going to need to have is XAMPP or some other type of equivalent local host um, server running on our computer. Of course, you can upload the files to your um, live website or um, a live server somewhere else, um, but that stuff is not going to be covered in this. I'm dealing with basically the files on my local server. Once you've installed something like XAMPP, then you need to run it. So I've installed XAMPP, and I go to my control panel, and my control panel comes up here, and I want to start Apache and MySQL. The reason we need both is Apache is our server, and MySQL is our database. And in order to install WordPress, we need to have a database. The next thing that we need to do is move over um, our files into the right directory. So I go to the htdocs folder, and I've already created my WordPress folder here. And I did that by downloading WordPress. So let's see, if I go back to my screen here, here's where the WordPress was. I can open it up, <clears throat> and then I just drug that into the folder um, that I need to go into, and that's into my htdocs folder. Now I renamed my index one and, and my two files here so that they won't run automatically. So you'll see when I go back to my local host server that I'll be able to bring up those folders. So in order to do this, you want http colon colon slash slash 
localhost. <clears throat> this is basically your local directory when you're running a standalone server. Now I'm going to go into um, the X, uh, XAMPP file here because I need to go into phpMyAdmin. Now you can also access this if you go over to admin from the file here. <clears throat> it basically gets me to the same place. Now the next thing that we're going to do but before we can install WordPress is we need to create a database. So I'm going to create a WordPress database called WordPress WP Toot. I'll create that. Now I can go back to my main directory and go into WordPress and start the installation process. So it says I'm going to need a few things. Um, we have the database name that we just created and the username I know is root with no password. The database host is going to be a local host and then table prefix if I want to install more of those but I'm not going to change that. The database name is going to be WP Toot. The username is root because we are on a um, local host. The password right now is set to none. The local host will be the database host and then the table prefix I'll leave just the way it is. Hit submit and it says that we've made it through this part of it and then it will go ahead and install it. So test WP site username is going to be um, admin my password is going to be pass and pass which is very very weak I don't suggest this on a real live server and then I'm going to go ahead and give myself some uh, stuff there let's see I'm not going to allow search engines to index this site let's go ahead and log in so be admin and pass and you'll see that I have now installed WordPress on my local host which is great so we're ready to get started um, now there's a few things that we're going to be playing with that I think are also very important. If you're not familiar with WordPress, um, you do need to know the difference between posts and pages. We're going to be dealing with a little bit of both. Um, and then we're also going to be looking at, uh, let's see, I guess the appearance widgets, something like that. You'll see I've got a whole bunch of widgets here and we'll be looking at how those come into play as well into our templates and such. So anyway for now though let's go ahead and go on to our first set of tutorials with the very simplest WordPress tutorial or the very simplest template. So go on to the next video.